Hello friends, welcome to DP Tutorials. In this video, let's learn about one of Excel's most powerful and creative tool that is called as pivot table when you work with large amounts of data that is list type data. Pivot table is great for coming up with quick summary information. In this example, I am considering a small amount of data for clear understanding. I am going to create a pivot table based on this data now. It has got some multiple rows of data that we are tracking sales, amount, customer population by state and region wise. Generally we go to this insert tab in the ribbon, create a pivot table in Excel. But I would suggest to use the new feature called recommended pivot tables. Because Sometimes the layout that you see here might be the exact or at least close to something that you want. So as I am looking this list here now, the labels consist of count of serial by region, sum of serial by region, sum of total population, sum of serial number, sum of sales by region, sum of sales, sum of amount, sum of customer count by region. And the list goes on like this. So I will just double click on this option now which is more suitable for me and suddenly on a new sheet we have got a pivot table. Off to the right is the pivot table field list using which you can modify the layout and fields further. Now let's see a new trick of custom grouping. Here, if someone asks you to provide the summary by only two regions as North India and South India, North India consisting of North and East and South India consisting of West and South. So what will I do is select both the cells of East and North in the pivot table, right click and select group and then I rename this group one as North India. Similarly, I select both South and West, right click on your mouse and select group and then rename as South India for the group 2. Now further, you can collapse this North India and South India so as to show the summary by only two regions as desired. In the same way, it would be very useful to custom group the large amount of data directly in the pivot table itself rather than modifying the databases. So friends, this is all about the tricks on pivot table. If you have liked my video, please give a like, share, comment right below this video and please do subscribe for more upcoming videos. Thank you friends. Thanks for watching.